Okay. Okay. So let's dive into this episode let's because plunge in. let's plunge in. <laughs> I mean, if you if you follow us on Instagram, what the hell is that? Ignore it. You're not supposed to look. Oh, at sorry, it. sorry. Um, Pretend like yeah, it's yeah, yeah. not there. So for can we start? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna plunge into this topic. If you've seen on Instagram, it was my joke, not his. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, it was Ashley's joke. We're gonna plunge into this. I'm gonna keep on saying that now because it's literally in our caption on Instagram too. And I'm just really, like, wow, yeah. I literally put we, me and Ashley plunged in oh, into I this. I didn't talk that. Um, so yes, this week on Tuesday morning at 5 a.m., Ashley and I woke up to go. We to- woke up at 5 a.m. No, well, I woke up at 5 a.m. You woke up at, like, like... I woke up at, like, 4, I think. Yeah. 4? Okay. Yeah. You, you usually wake up earlier, but, like, essentially, to give context or background, Ashley's been doing cold tubs, which are essential. My uh, dad does it. them every day. If you follow him on Instagram, he is posting his cold plunges all the time. Like, every morning yeah. when I was home, blasting music at a certain time, you hear him in the bathtub. Woo! <laughs> like i edit some of his vlogs for him and quite often they're him doing a cold plunge and he does not know what angle to put his camera at when he's in the cold plunge and <laughs> he struggled yeah just peed in the tub but because he did that and he started doing that i decided that i would try it out too just because i don't like cold showers for some reason just cold showers for me because you're not fully submerged in the water i it just doesn't feel as effective. I feel like I'm just kind of... Maybe it's something I need to get over. But even mm-hmm. our instructor said, like, she doesn't like cold showers. She'd rather cold plunge. And that's funny because Ashley does cold tubs. So you, yeah. like, fully submerge. I do cold showers. Yeah. And when I... And so so where we're leading with this episode is essentially on Tuesday morning, we woke up and we went and we did a cold plunge at, like, a place called Other Ship, which is specifically... Yeah meant for doing cold plunges that like you have an instructor yeah. they take you through it they guide you and then there's also unguided but we did the guided version yeah and uh, other ship is like it's a full experience thing so they have a lot of classes which are more emotionally driven um and they do a lot of breathing like intention setting and they have like the sauna as well and so it's like this whole thing but the class that we did specifically was directed and focused on the cold part of it so it was called arctic tundra and we did three rounds total like in the tubs the first one was um just a full minute in and then second one was three rounds of 30 seconds in 30 seconds out which definitely made it harder and then the fourth one was uh, two minutes in, but every 15 seconds we were popping up and down. So like Mano would be out and then at 15 seconds I would pop up and he would go in. Yeah. And by the end of that one, my toes literally felt like they were going to fall off. Like I haven't felt that before, but it was yeah. like, you got to keep going until you're at the end of it or else you're not going to be able to get out of the water. Even though, like realistically, mm-hmm. you could, but yeah. Yeah, no, it, it, it was, it was awesome. crazy. It was yeah. like, I never experienced that before in my life. I've never done a cold plunge ever. Yeah. And that was like my first time doing it. I coerced it. him into doing she, it she so did. fast. Ashley, literally, I think you learned about other ship like a few days prior to us I was doing like, it. let's just do it. And I, I she, no, so the funny thing is you were like, or you, you t- told me like about it, a, like maybe a day before we booked it. Yeah. Um, And then you were like, yeah, we're, let's book it. And then you texted me the day we were supposed to do yoga. Yeah, the, the, I think it was on Monday. We no, no, no. It was on Sunday. We booked it. I think Sunday. Yeah, we booked it on Sunday. And um, oh my god, it was crazy because we literally booked it on the spot. We got no. We booked it on Monday. We booked it the night before. Wait, did we did. Be- we mm-hmm. because I had my team meeting, and then Nick was like, "I'm gonna come," but then Nick got sick. It was. Oh. It, we booked it the night before. Okay. Well, regard regardless, we booked it really fast, and we were just like, "Let's go experience it." So. We went, Ashley's been doing it at, the, at this point. She was doing it for like a week or maybe like a week and a bit. Yeah. Um, at that, nine uh, days. Nine days. Yeah. Um, so she was already like, obviously in the routine of doing it. This is my first time ever doing it. So I go in there. <laughs> I was, 
That's, I literally, I gave Ashley great memory. Now she see, has seen me do the stanky leg in the, <laughs> in the, the cold tub. It was, it was really funny because I was like, man, I'll just put your whole body in or else it's going to be worse. And he's looking at me like with the angriest face ever. He's like, I can't do it. I'm like, you're making it worse for yourself. But I was just trying to encourage him to get in all the way. But it is harder if you have your body half in, half out, yeah. right? Yeah, I did get in. I did get in. Yeah. It was the first time. So the first time when we got in together and it was like you on one side, I was on the other side. I literally couldn't even move my, like my legs were like crossed on top. So I couldn't even move them <laughs> no, and like sit he down. He wasn't fully down. He was like half up, half down. It was funny. I was like balancing on my leg. Because yeah. I was like, I literally. He and didn't then, know what to do. And then the next time we go in, I sat in fully because that was like we had the whole tub to ourselves. So I sat in fully and I actually got my shoulders under that time. But like it is freezing Yeah, cold. you have to breathe. The whole part of like the whole point of it is um, training your breathing, right? Because if mm-hmm. you're in stressful situations throughout the day, like when you plunge into cold water, it's kind of like, what's the what's the term for it? You get hit with like shock. cold water shock. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so if you can train your body to instead of freak out to breathe like deep breathe then when you go throughout your day like you've regulated your system and in stressful situations you're less likely to react and you're more likely to sit there and breathe through it so it's very yeah and it also like our instructor was telling us other benefits as well like after a minute your kidney starts was it no your liver starts releasing certain either in like detoxifying yeah and it um helps with uh inflammation and stuff like that so there's so many different benefits your metabolism goes up 300 percent. yeah like you feel like you can just power through the rest of the day you're so awake after like we walked outside after and i was like oh my god it's sunny outside yeah like what we went in when it was like dark so yeah oh my gosh wow this is so nice i was like it feels like a new day (laughs) and we got out and then we had class after that and then we also i had two classes and we both went to the same class classes. together. So we both had two classes. Yeah. And we got bagels. And yeah. then we were chilling coffee. It like, was it was a productive day. It was. I enjoyed it thoroughly. We did. Yeah, we did get a lot done. And like, now, I mean, the looking back at it, I love the experience of how fast it was, but also like how long it felt when it you were inside. It felt so long. Like it, I asked Mana what time it was because he had his watch on and I didn't because mine didn't charge properly. But I asked him what time it was, and it was, like, 7.45, and I was, like, it's only been 45 yeah. minutes. Like, it had felt... I was getting worried about time. I'm, like, we have an instructor, but, like, I'm getting worried. Yeah. Because it felt, like, honestly, two hours. Yeah. Like, it cool. felt so long. When you're in the ice, you, like... It just freezes. It's, like, it freezes time, too. Yeah. Because even, even when... No, even just we... in the sauna, too. Because in between, we'd go into the sauna and, like, yeah. just kind of, like, relax for a little bit. And that time felt so much longer than i guess it was like i guess it was only really five minutes each time we're in there but it felt like a good like 15 what are yeah no i i know actually if if, but i the sauna i needed that sauna (laughs) otherwise i would not have been able to go back in that that sauna like heated me up just enough to what when i went back out i was like i can i can get in well it's good to get your blood flowing again right yeah like you move around but then you go in the heat so exactly yeah yeah, but I mean, it was it was a cool experience. I guess, what would you say your biggest takeaways are from... Um, honestly, like, that shit was cold as fuck. And, like, I've been doing the cold plunges, but obviously it's not as cold as that. Like, at the end of that, there was ice in the tub when yeah. I went in, right? And my water is cold, but... And so, doing that, I think my biggest takeaway was... Because I went into that with no doubt... I just kind of was like, okay, let's do this. Like, Mm -hmm. I want to experience it. Let's do it. And that was one of the first times where I've been so confident in doing something. Like, no matter what it is, it doesn't... Just any situation. And it kind of showed me that, like, yeah, like, I can just jump in and do something like that and do well Mm -hmm. in it. It was just, like, because I was excited to do it, right? I was like, okay, let's do this. Like, it's a new experience. Like, my dad sent this place to me. Um... And so just jumping into it like that and leaving it after I was like, okay, yeah, fuck yeah. Like we just did that. You can go through the rest of your day. Yeah. And so for me, it was just kind of, even though it was only one little experience, it kind of showed me like if I go into everything with that attitude, then I'm going to be able to pull through 
yeah. in a positive way or at least learning something. Yeah. So yeah. if you can do a cold tub, if you can, if you can start your day with an ice cold dipping with, in a room cold, with strangers, in a room with too, strangers, right? yeah. You like, can do anything. That was another thing, too, is I've always, like, grown up super self-conscious, no matter if I'm, like, skinny or, like, have a bit more weight on me. Like, I've always been super self-conscious of walking around in a bathing suit. And that day, I was just, like, just didn't even fixate on that point blank right. period. Like, it was just not in my train of thought at all. That's what's so weird, too, because usually I'm like that. I'm like, okay, how do I look right now? When I was there, I was like, no, you know we what? Were, Actually, we were just focused on the experience. Yeah. And, and the funny thing is I didn't even realize that other people, like, the other people were with us. And, like, everyone's so supportive. I remember when I was in the tub at one point, I was going, like, oh, I, I was literally, like, I don't know what I was doing. I was doing some, no, something. No, you were splashing the water. I was splashing the water. And the, the dude beside us looked yeah. at me. He was, like, yeah. yeah. I was, like, okay. I was, like, I like the encouragement. Let's keep on <laughs> yeah. splashing. Yeah. No, it was awesome. But, so, I mean, it, it's a supportive community, too. So, not only do you start the day with, like, a supportive amount of people around you, but, like, you also start with an experience where you, I've accomplished this today. Yeah. So, going forward, there's nothing else that can stop me. Um, How do you... Because even after it, man, I was a little bit humble going back. Mm -hmm. how... I was. I was. I, my legs were frozen. I was... Mm. How do you think that you might have grown from that experience? Be realizing, honest. realizing that realize, 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 realizing that I can actually get in a cold tub, like getting in cold water fully. Because prior to that, I literally was like, there's no way I'm ever going to like knowingly go and sit in a bath of ice water yeah. for any reason. And then doing that, because I, I, I physically did not think I could do it. Like, I physically was like, there's no way I can, my body will let me sit in a water that cold. And then when we go there and she was like, three, two, one. Yeah, it was so fast. I it was like, I was like, shit, I have to get in now. And then I literally stepped in when I got in. I was like, okay, okay, there's no going back. Just sit, just sit. And I sat like, like the first time I sat like bouncing and I was like, oh my God. And then the second time I sat and I actually sat inside of it and I was like, how am I doing this right now? <laughs> and like I, like, I literally... You're like, what the fuck did Ashley get I, me into? I, no, I literally remember I looked at you because you were outside the tub and I was like, how am I doing this right now? Like, I'm literally sitting here. I'm like, I did not think I would be able you, to actually You saw here. yourself in, like, bird's eye view yeah, for a yeah. second. My, my soul of my body, I'm like looking. I'm like, is Mano really doing this right now? What is going on? Because <laughs> then after I was telling people, I was like, yeah, we did the cool tub. It was, it was so cool to, like, actually, like sit in the see like you doing it you know because you always see videos but you don't like, whatever so I, I was telling people and they were like you could not pay me to do that you could not pay me and i was like that was literally me like that was me. i was originally like if you talked to me a year ago i'd been like you cannot pay me to do that yeah and then now every time there's a new experience somewhere i'm like because i even told ashley this i wanted to try i was like might as well try it like because obviously i know you've been doing it so because you've been doing it i was like you know what maybe this is like Maybe I can do it because... He's like, yeah, this bitch has been waking up at 3 a.m. the past two weeks. Yeah. Maybe it is doing something good for her. That's what I'm saying. So I was, I was like, maybe I'll just try it and get the experience. Or at least I'll get experience out of it. Yeah. And I did. It was like fun. We woke up at, at early. We met up. We were like walking, taking videos. We got there. It was like a whole experience. We walked out, took the streetcar it back. Was it was nice to do something outside of the house and like totally... You know how we've talked about doing... Um, a dopamine cleanse yeah that was almost like we weren't on our phones yeah no like yeah. no phones no nothing just like in a room with random strangers and jumping in cold water and moving to the sauna moving to the sauna doing chilling. some body weight uh yeah. squats <laughs> that, that would be like no little and i remember oh my god that was the funniest part when we got out when every time i get out my legs your legs when you get out are you are numb you cannot i i literally could not feel my my lower half even like my my chest so I'd get out of the water. I'd start doing like squats. I was like, I need to get it going. I need to get it going. And it still would be so cold. Yeah. But like. At the end of it, when um, when we did our third round and we did the popping and I got out, I couldn't walk for a second because I literally like my veins felt like ice. Yeah. Like my blood was not moving in the lower half of my body. And then when I would walk, I could literally, it felt, and I couldn't describe it at the time, but now thinking about it, it felt like 
the veins that were ice every time I would take a step I would feel them like move a little bit mm. inside even like in my muscles like it was so weird but no it was awesome getting out didn't I literally trip in front of you at one point or I think when I got out, I like almost tripped because I couldn't move my legs or something. Yeah, but you were fine. You were fine. No, no, I, I ended up walking. I was fine. But like, I remember I was trying to get out or something and I like tripped over you and you looked at me. You're like, are you good? You good, shorty? <laughs> of course. <laughs> and the instructor really kept on laughing at me because every time I'd get in the well, I'm like. <sighs> oh my God. The face Mano made every time. No, it was worse than that. It was more like. <sighs> <laughs> like the deepest breath ever. Yeah, no, you know what? I, I was probably, like, in concentration mode. Life or death. What? Okay, so I asked you if you'd grown from that. Do you think that... What benefits do you think you got out of that, from that experience? Besides, mm. okay, me sitting in cold water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What benefits do you... Like, did, how did you feel after? Was there anything different? Like, did you, did you get the endorphin hit from hit from hit? From hit, from hit. I think I definitely got an endorphin hit because after you do it, you all you just feel like is literally yes. accomplishment. Yeah. Like you're like, oh my god, I just did something cool today. I think also though, because I didn't sleep the night before, I after it, I was energized, but I also felt sleepy. Yeah. And I was like, and I, I was reflecting. I was like, maybe is that from the cold tub? Is it? Just, and I was like, no, 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 it's probably because I literally didn't sleep last night. It's also night. the sauna too. Right? And the sauna, yeah. So I mean. But still, I felt energized. Like, I was in class, and I felt really attentive yeah. in terms of, like, what was being shown to us. Yeah. I just felt, like, obviously, and she even mentioned this. She was like, I know some of you guys haven't slept. Probably some of you have had great sleep. Some of you didn't sleep well. Yeah, it's um, going to be different for It's going to be different for everyone. So I think it's be maybe the fact that I was probably nervous for it. Yeah. I didn't sleep the night before because I was probably nervous, and I was like, oh, my God, um... Like, what, what am I going to expect? Like, holy shit, I'm doing this. Holy shit, I'm doing this. And I was like, oh my God. Like, and before the night this... before my driver's license test, I did not sleep. I'm like, this is so bad. I need to sleep. I need to sleep. Yeah, because you're nervous. Because you, I, I was originally was like, oh my God, am I even going to be able to do this? Like, whatever. And then the day of, I remember I wake, woke up and I was like, then we're doing it. I guess yeah. we're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and then we did it. And then it, we, we... And then we, it was done. And then it was done. And I was like, yes. <laughs> and then she was like, so when are we going back? And I was like, let me live for a second. <laughs> but I kept pushing him and he like, he was like, no, I'm like, come on, come on. And he's like, oh yeah, my, um, my uncle did it. And this, I'm like, no, but so, my, my cousin did it. And I was like, so have they convinced you since I can't? <laughs> See, uh, for me, the way to convince, like I would do it again, but I would do it like in a, in a context where we're like, like, I don't know, maybe, like, the whole day is something where it's, like, like. But that defeats I don't the know. purpose. No, it's not supposed to be a whole day thing. You're only supposed no, no, no. to have up to 20 minutes. of. That's what I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not saying, like, do it, doing it the whole day. I would not do it the whole day. <laughs> Let's get that straight. But doing it in a sense where yeah, there's something. a whole different person. But yeah, imagine. I, I, I'd be an ice cube is what I'd be. But, like, doing it in a, in a sense where you have something. Like, there, there's something else happening in the day where it's, like, you do it and you can, like, use the benefits from that towards... Literally everything that you do every single fucking day. Yeah, but, like, would I go there every day and do an ice plunge? Not there, necessarily. I mean, like, it, it, the way you do it... I like, mean, I, like, I, for I, me... I do my shower. Because, like, it works for me. Like, I'm just... I, I'm, like, quickly... Okay, boom, I can just turn on my shower, yeah. hop in, whatever. But, like, obviously, that's not the same benefits as doing it full body. Yeah. I think, for me, it's kind of, like... I would want to do it once a month at least. So then it, whether it be the first of the month or the first week of the month, mm -hmm. just because I feel like after a month of like being in work and school and all of that, it can be really nice to pull yourself out. Of, like we pulled ourselves out of reality for an yeah. hour and 15 minutes, right? Like yeah. that was just like no phone, nothing. We had someone guiding us, yeah. which made it even better because we just had to listen and do. And do what they yeah. told us, yeah. And so... I don't know for me like it just feels almost like a reset even though I'm doing it at home and I still mm -hmm. did my cold plunge before we went yeah, yeah. like I still you did it twice woke, that day yeah yeah I still got myself up and did that to wake myself up but you know it just it feels like a little bit of a reset and I like that I think it's good to have 
those whether it be bi-weekly like some people do it once a yeah. week some people so we were telling us they do it once a week i was like damn yeah those are... yeah and, and like especially if you do it earlier in the week too it can kind of help set the, set the tra- yeah set yeah. the trajectory of your week in a positive way so i'm glad we did it in the beginning of the week because throughout the week i was just like damn we did that on tuesday mm-hmm. and it's still like whenever i think about it i still feel the ice iciness on my on my uh legs but like I don't really necessarily feel like doing the um the full like obviously sitting full body like in the water is really hard to do but like now doing it I'm like I don't think it's that hard like it wouldn't be that hard it was getting your legs in fully that's the hardest part let's go right now I'll put a body cam on <laughs> no you know what next time I want to I want to actually film it I want I to want to it. get the uh those fucking metal glasses and then so, film it yeah, yeah. Because I was going to say... Because like, if gonna... I had the footage of your face when we were in the cold tub together, you would actually murder me. <laughs> you would actually <laughs> murder me. But I remember also when I was sitting in it, I didn't think it was that bad because you were just chill- sitting there like this. <sighs> just breathe. <laughs> just breathe. Like, you, were, you weren't I'm laughing. I was chilling. Anything. And man, I was like... <sighs> <sighs> No, because I was trying to obviously ca- Call, stay yeah. calm myself and, like, breathe myself through it. But then I would also be like, man, I'll just put your just shoulders you should, And I, I, I'd be like, I can't! My, my legs are crossed. I can't uncross them. And then the second time we were in, the, I was like, okay, I'll actually sit. And then we sat. And then the last... And you've still got your arms <laughs> Oh, yeah, you know what? I, that, no, I remember that. I was, I was like, I was like, man, I'll just put your arms in. Please. <laughs> Please, it's yeah. not for me. It's for you. It's for you. <laughs> You're like, you, you could do that all you want. It's, it's funnier for me. Uh, it's funnier. Yeah. No, I tried to like tell you, but I also was like, I'm just going to let him do what is good for him because I don't want to be like pushing you too much. Or... <laughs> no, see, I, I, I literally was just like, my arms would not, like, it was like fight or flight. Yeah. I was like, no, you have but to. But even me in my cold tub in the morning, like when I send you videos, I don't know if you noticed, but I yeah. put my bottom half in first and then I have to be like, put your hand. Yeah. You, you like slide in. Yeah. 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 Because if I don't, then I'm going to be like, <sighs> yeah. but like I'm breathing on my way in. So then I don't like lose my breath or choke on my breath. I guess it's also nice too, because you get to like take your time to get in. Like there, obviously you have to like, you have to jump. I try, the, like, you have to go I try not to take my time. It's just because I do have to fill my bathtub up all the way yeah in order to be able to go under fully and so if I just like jump in there my bathroom (laughs) is covered right so no it's more of like that and also like I am trying to focus on my breathing and not fall while I'm in there because I'm clumsy but yeah you don't want to fall yeah we don't want Ashley Fry to just like it's four in the morning my neighbors are sleeping who would find me no one yeah it's exactly. actually in cold in water. cold water they the, the police woke up they'd be like what the hell yeah i'd be knocking your door like where are you no you wouldn't you'd what do you be mean? busy you'd be on meetings the, what happened to this bitch i don't know <laughs> no if i didn't hear from you for if i didn't hear from you within a day i'd be like something's off i think the person that would like say something would be my dad because i work for him oh your dad would be like, not even my mom not even my dad because he's my dad but my yeah. dad because i work for him he'd be like um the success posts aren't going up are you okay are you good if i didn't hear from you for a day i'd think something was off i would think something's off because with the throughout the day i hear from you in multiple different ways yeah. i was like there, if if i didn't hear i would be like something's off yeah hmm. 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 let's have to pull a prank okay so the police show up at your door i'm like i, I don't play <laughs> no we need to go to the cops oh yeah this fucking let's have... <laughs> breathe no i don't even want to talk about it but some random random i'm not gonna use it mean term i was gonna say bitch which is not mean but like some random old lady i'm on the phone with paulina literally um at college and bathurst okay college and bathurst got, just got off the streetcar i'm standing you know when you get off a streetcar in the middle of the road yeah you yeah just have to stand there and wait so i'm standing there waiting and she's like moving around me but like really slowly and she doesn't say anything but she kind of like mumbles like it wasn't a word 
I just literally remember looking, like turning my head as I'm on the phone and looking at her face and her face goes, spits up at my face, like literally up in my face. Yeah, it was the most, I was like, I wiped my face so fast. Even though I had makeup on, yeah. I literally was just like, that that's, is That's gross for, for punching her in the face. No, but, and I thought about <laughs> it after and I was like, I so could have just spat right back on her. Like, yeah. It's not like she was moving fast, <laughs> right? Like, but... <laughs> But it was just like, uh, no, I don't want to think about it. And then I'm like walking home and I'm like, Paulina, I think I can smell her saliva. Like, it's Ooh. disgusting. Anyways, that's assault. That that's is. That's literally assault. That is. You can't afford, you got photos of her too. Yeah, no, I started Little walking away. Lady. And then I was like, wait, she's standing at the light. I'm going to take photos because like, yeah, what the fuck? You don't, you don't just do that. What the fuck? Like, I'll just print out a bunch of photos of her face and I say. them everywhere. This lady spits. <laughs> Watch out. She spits. She's not a quitter. She's a spitter. <laughs> She's not a quitter. She's a spitter. <laughs> if the police don't do anything, then yeah. Ashley Fry. Oh, God. We'll make sure it's done. <laughs> okay. Um. So let's kind of tie our experience into a general topic, which I think is very fitting. And that is mind-body connection. Right? And I think... And you didn't say this, but I think something you might have learned from the other ship called Plunge is that there are other ways to connect your mind to your body, and they might be in ways that you've never thought of before. Oh, you know what? Fair. Fair. Because the what it really taught me is that not only are you cold, because obviously when you get in, you're cold, but like after you are in there for a bit, your mind kind of like numbs itself to the cold like like you you're able after you get your whole body and you're able to sit in there longer because you're you're like you're you're breathing you're br- yeah you're it, breathing. it's obviously you're breathing but like you're also your mind also working Man on very, to work on his breathing i do need to work on my breathing still i do need to work on my breathing but at that's the, closer you, to the end that's why you keep doing it it's closer to the end though i was i was starting to you were getting better yeah. i was getting a better i was better. like man i'll breathe <laughs> deep breaths I know. He's like, no, because you kept breathing in your, like, just your mouth, right? And mm. you're supposed to. Yeah. That's like regulating your breath, right? So if you're not doing that, then you're just kind of keep. You, the whole point of it is to shock, or not shock, but is to regulate your nervous system. And so when mm-hmm. you're not breathing properly, you're keeping yourself in that unregulated pattern, right? That's why I was pushing. Yeah, yeah. But. I mean, it also teaches you breathing, though. Like, in terms of just going through anything in life, because because people were talking about it, and like, if you do that, yeah. you learn how to breathe in that situation. Then going into any other situation, you're like, hey, yeah. I'm just gonna breathe. And it can also stuff like that can be good for people who struggle to do meditation, mm-hmm. right? Like starting yeah. with maybe cold plunges first, so then you can get over like the barriers, or like even just regulate your breath first. So then when you are doing your meditation, then you're like, okay, well this is so easy compared to getting in the yeah. water and doing it. Right? I actually thought it was dangerous too. That's one of my one of my blockers. I literally thought it was dangerous to to do it. Really? Yeah, I literally thought there was danger. Like I thought my mom the night before told me that my heart would stop, and I was like, "What?" So then I I the whole the whole day I was paranoid because like, is this that like you know? So I literally thought it was dangerous to do, and then I didn't. I was like, "Oh wait, this actually." I isn't- have a bone to pick with Carmel. My father literally had a heart attack, and he does them now. Yeah, I know. He's never been healthier. Yeah, your dad is like. A bull. Yeah. A mechanical bull. A mechanical He's got a pacemaker bull. in him. <laughs> a pacemaker. <laughs> um, okay, let's talk about the interconnectedness of your mind and your body. Ooh. I guess we kind of t- covered that a little bit in terms of the fact that, like, your mind... I mean, even the interconnected... Like, so we can talk about just my misconception about it being dangerous yeah you could you mentally convinced yourself yeah i mean even though like you probably came out healthier even 0.2 percent healthier yeah from one cold plunge from one cold plunge exactly before yeah so i mean like just that preconception of me being like oh it's going to do this negative side effect was like a blocker to me fully trying to experience it at first and after the first going in and realizing that i'm okay then I was like, okay, actually, maybe, and then that's why maybe the progressive times after that, my yeah. body was like, hey, we've experienced this. Maybe you can actually do this without, yeah. you know? And our emotions 
strongly our emotions and beliefs strongly influence our physical health more than we realize right yeah oh yeah i mean especially when we were booking it i was like should i book this i was like oh do it and i'm glad i did because now i actually have that experience and now um, you can do it again with ease. Well, now, yeah, now I can do it again knowing that I'm not going to die. You can be like, yeah, I already did this. Well, because cause it's literally like, like, the thing is, you, you dread it in the moment. Like, you dread, like, walking out of the sauna and going, because I remember every time we'd walk in the sauna, I'd dread, like, oh, now we're going from the hot heat to the cold. But then you'd go there, and when you actually got in the cold, you're like, okay, wait, I'm good. It was just the dread from your mind playing tricks on you, being like, oh my god, you have to do this again. Instead mm-hmm. of like, you get to do this. Because yeah. you're also paying for the experience. Yeah, it's like so, you're paying like, we're to do We're lucky to be able to do that, yeah. right? To be able to have, first of all, such a cool place like that mm-hmm. so close so to close us and literally. accessible. Yeah. And second of all, the fact that the Arctic Tundra class still had available spots, Yeah. right? Like, there was supposed to be 24 people, I think. Not everyone showed up. It was probably like regular people that weren't there. Mm. But like... The fact that there were still openings for us to book and that it lined up so perfectly with our schedule like everything. the day that my gym was closed too like it was just like everything kind of like lined up i was like let's just do it yeah. it's a no-brainer so like yeah. yeah like having the gratitude to be able to do stuff like that as well is very important no i did i did reflect too because i afterwards like people asked me oh so okay nice how much did it cost whatever so i told them i was like oh, okay it cost as much and they were like you paid that much to sit in the cold water and i was like well like it sounds like that because like also like from the beginning when you first think like okay, i'm gonna sit in a cold tub like sh- like okay it's expensive no people just imagine like just going and plunging yeah yeah like it going wasn't in- just it was it, an hour and 15 minutes of a full like, yeah yeah experience. a full circuit yeah. of like you know that you're still also paying for the person's time like yeah. the you know the coach's time so and pause essential oils are expensive as fuck and, and put, she yeah. threw three sear big like essential oil balls yeah. in there they would that was a, also i love that though i love the whiffs like as she calm. held that no it was so nice my favorite was the eucalyptus tea tree and what was it there was a and lime mm. the mix of those three but as soon as she picked up the first ball of it i was like i wonder how much money she's holding in that hand yeah like in my head that was what popped in there well just think too because like i also was talking to my mom but this after i was like oh yeah they i was telling her i was like they have this you would have loved it. I was like, I, I was like, you would have loved the sauna part because they had these uh, cedar like ice balls with essential oils, and they threw them in and then like wafted. And she was like, oh, old spas do that. And I was like, no, no, no. The way she was doing it, she had a towel. She's like, she's like, no, no, no like, uh, she was like, I always go to spas that do that. And so I was like, I was like, I don't know if they, it's their technique, but or if they use it. But like, I think what they did is they did a unique thing where they experienced it because like, also apparently they have cold plunges at spas. I didn't know that. Um, yeah. And apparently, but it's unguided. So I think what really differentiates Othership is that it's guided. Yeah. Like you are being guided through how to do it yeah. versus just having a cold tub and people just going in whenever yeah. they want and whatever. Like that's what I, I learned kind of from. I have actual instructors. And I also think like Maddie was very, um, that was our instructor. She was very just like. She was very, what's the word, ecstatic about it, but mm-hmm. also just, like, the way that she carried herself in terms of, like, even the essential oil. Like, yeah. she made sure she spoke us through everything, mm-hmm. even just her fanning all of us. Like, she was going back and forth. Like, that girl yeah. was doing, like... Good. S- yeah, and the way she was whipping that towel around, too. Like, I was like, how do you control a towel so yeah. well? Like, it was just, it looked She was, like, so spinning cool. it around. I, yeah. I was like, like, that's insane. yeah. I mean, we were sitting, like, right in the front. It was so nice. It was a really good experience, and it's so close to us, too. And then after I got home and I talked to people, and they, they, when they told me they were going to, I was like, oh, my God, other people know about this place? I thought yeah. me and Ashley had, like, the secret tip. Yeah, no, my dad sent it to me, and I was like, I have never heard about this before in my life. Yeah. And but... then I, like, followed them on Instagram, and I saw, like, okay, there are some people that follow them. But... And, yeah, I started sending my mom videos from them. I'm like, look, this is what we did. Like, this is the experience um even grandmas do it yeah. like there's literally like if they can do it i'll be the grandma doing it. yeah ashley ashley fry the, the the brand ambassador for other shit oh my god when i'm like 73 yeah i'd so do that honestly at that age that's like the catch really me good instructing time. at 73 <laughs> you with the towel you're like <sighs> <laughs> you in your in your um beauty lounge yeah in your beauty lounge you have a cold tub segment oh my god you should that would be on brand 
imagine you had like it kind of goes with like the whole embodiment yeah embodiment that would be a, that would be good for your we mind have to make okay no let's talk about this after podcast wait, time wait 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 no wait, you're gonna forget no i won't no i'll, I'll remember i'll remember okay i will remember Don't okay okay are you saying you're gonna forget you. Well, you might. Yeah, no, really. I would. I would forget. Oh. It would like lose my mind. It would leave my mind. You already lost your mind. Yeah, my mind is lost. <laughs> um. Okay. So emotional influence on physical health, and then let's talk about. Okay, this one I thought was really cool. Okay. Um, I think it's yeah psychosomatic effects. Do you know what that is? I read that when you, I read that, I did not know what. No, okay. I was doing obviously in your, like, your mind. Well, so somatic, you know the word somatic. Yes, shaking. Like somatic healing. It's not just shaking, it's like an energy thing, right? Uh, Okay. And so psychosomatic is when mental stress or like past unresolved emotional issues and stuff build up, but they stay in your body. And like, one of the main places where people hold emotional um, trauma, stress, anything is in your gut, right? And so one big one, and I, when I was looking into this, I was thinking of like the whole like, oh, all hot girls have stomach issues kind of thing. Girl, no, you're either one not eating or you got trauma, right? <laughs> and Call them out. No, well... IBS, like I have IBS. Yeah, yeah. I would say it's been better recently, and I've been regulating myself. It's not a, it's not a terrible thing all the time. The you just need tubs. to learn to work with your body, right? And so, yeah. So psychosomatic effects, like for example, somebody having IBS, right? So your body and your mind are so connected in terms of things like that. And we've talked in the past about it's in the book, The Myth of Normal, but he talks about. Um, uh, this lady who she didn't realize that it just she had a dream one day and it was it felt so real and she was like oh my god this happened to me because she was dealing with like ulcers in like her throat and in her intestine or something and then it ended up being that was her actual trauma that came up in her dream yeah. and then after she had like worked through the trauma that no maybe it was it was either in the myth of normal or it was in becoming supernatural. I think it was in myth of normal. Um, but after she started dealing with it, then all of the ulcers and everything disappeared after she dealt with it. It's got to be the myth of normal. That's crazy. It has to do with trauma. Yeah. That is actually crazy. Yeah. But it just shows you how interconnected your mind and your body are. And when you ignore things and like sweep them under the rug versus dealing with them and like getting rid of that energy, yeah. um, it can build up over time. So yeah super duper important um something i actually want to try is going to a somatic healer or doing something Mm -hmm. of that sort um that's also why i want to try like running more because i feel like there would be so much built up tension in my body that would be released if i started running more that's what i was see when i first moved to toronto funnily enough i I actually did morning runs funnily 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 that's cute i i I was doing i'd always do morning runs so like i'd wake up in the morning I'd go for a run, so I'd run all the way from my place to Nathan Phillips Square. So, like, that was my run every morning, like, back and forth. And then I'd go to the gym, and then, like, I'd start my day. But, like, the runs, I feel like, cleared my head. And you know what? Actually, today I was at a sales conference, and they brought a speaker in who's, like, a, a neuro, like neuroscientist. Like, he's, he's a uh, best-selling author, like, whatever. And his name is Greg Wells, I believe, Greg, Greg, Greg Wells. Um... He's written like five books, whatever. He was talking to us and he literally said, he was like, you should be walking because when you are like throughout your day, when you're working, if you are staying still, your brain is going to work less hard than it would if you went for a walk. Like he said, for example, in the morning, like go to the gym. Like he, he, he said, obviously it depends on your schedule, like go whenever you can, but the time you go to the gym affects has different effects on your body, right? So in the morning, boy, I know. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, so I used to go at two a.m. You used, you used to do the opposite. Now, you do the, literally the. I used to go to the gym when, like, I would be, at the end of your day. I would be finishing at the gym and finishing my day when I'm actually like going to the gym and starting my now. Day now. Yeah. yeah, 
It was crazy. Like you flipped and, and obviously you see the benefits, but he literally said, he was like, even at lunchtime, what you should be doing is in the morning, you should have exercise. Then at lunchtime, you should take like a five minute walk yeah. outside somewhere. Just get your body moving. Cause you, your, your mind will work so much better yeah. when you, that I wish I had the actual, I took videos of him speaking. I'm going to send them to you. Cause I feel, I think you'd find them interesting, but he explains like the neurology of beta state, alpha state, how to utilize the different states to your advantage. Like when and you want to get... were like, yeah, I know this stuff. I, I was literally sitting there. I was like, I was like, beta state, alpha state. Oh, I know this. They're like, remind me, please. Yeah. yeah so, so he's talking about it. He's like, this is how you use it to your advantage. Like this is the way you do deep work. This is where you do this. Like this is how you compel people and like keep them captivated. It was... I think you would have loved it. I like that speed. That's why I filmed it most of it because I wanted to send it to you, but it's too big of a file. <laughs> so he talks all about that kind of stuff. And I realized your mind is so powerful. Obviously, I, we, we know this, but like your mind is just so powerful in terms of just the connectedness as we're talking about your mind and your body. Well, and it's so easy for it to just get forgotten about in the busyness of everyday life. Yeah. But if you do the little things um for your body and for your mind like i haven't read the past few days i've been listening to audiobooks but i've put off reading my book just because i've been busy mm -hmm. and i feel the difference in my i wouldn't even just i would just say thought patterns in terms of i'm still doing my arabic i'm still doing all my other things that like challenge my yeah. brain but taking that one little like 10 15 minutes out of my day of reading makes such a difference right like having yeah. it there changes my state completely so it's like yeah. little things like that like if you can take something that benefits either and you need to exercise your brain all the time right like your brain is a, is your brain a muscle i think your, your brain's brain's a, a, oh your, definitely your brain's a muscle so unless you're like actually like constantly it's like compare it to like going and just living your everyday life physically mm -hmm. and just moving your body like that and not working out you probably wouldn't be quote unquote in shape yeah. or like fit or the healthiest right same thing with your mind if you're just doing your everyday life and you're not challenging your brain in any way or working it out in terms of learning on like challenging it yeah. reading a book yeah doing whatever i actually want to like play brain games on my phone that sounds so stupid but like mm. a lot of people have brain games i've never like i just never got into doing those i feel like i should do that like i feel i think it's a, a good a good habit i also think the best brain game you can play is literally journaling yeah and like even today when I when, when mean, he's like, talking like wordle no i know like those like i know what you're get talking my about. get myself like thinking. sudoku yeah like that kind of stuff like i need to actually like keep my vocabulary um expanded and not just expand it for two months and then yeah, yeah, yeah. get busy and then lose it fair no you know what that's fair i i honestly i used to have a lot of brain games on my phone and then i just it got every life got in the way life got life became life yeah and then it just you know stopped everything but a, a good uh, one thing he said today the the um the author one thing the author said today that resonated with me in terms of a uh, schedule he was like if you start your day, you like you wake up, you go, you make your coffee, whatever, you go for a run, you come back, you go to the, or you like you work out, whatever, do whatever you need to do to work out, be active. You come back, you meditate, you journal, you read, and then you start your day. You are going to be a night and day difference from That's what someone. I've been doing. Yeah, exactly from from someone, but you're going to be a night and day difference from someone who wakes up, goes on their phone scroll doom scrolls through social media in bed okay i don't know if sorry <laughs> no you can do that, that hurt. were you on the phone when i said um we we're on the phone with our group for one of our school projects and i said to them because my dad does this with all of his clients and he does it with our team and at the end of it he says um what give me one power word and some words of yeah. inspiration okay and so I kept trying to pull it out of one of one of our group members, and he was like, um, "And it actually made me feel a little bit crazy in the moment." But I was like, "No, you're just like high energy right now. Like you're just on your shit, um, and you're like alert." And he was like, "I can't come up with that." I'm like, "Just come up with anything." He was like, "No," and I was like, "Okay, my power word 
um, is perseverance. And I said, I went, whatever. And he goes, did you just Google that? And I was like, no. Like, I just came up with that on the spot. But it would just show, like, in that moment, it was like, okay, this is one person who's, like, highly alert who's doing this and then the other person who's just probably been sitting on their phone today and it's not to like bash on that person yeah. at all but that was a moment where i was like okay this is actually like doing something for me because he thinks that i just googled that yeah like well so you just realized talking to people like how asleep some people are yeah and i'm i was like that for what the last six months too like but night I, you, sw- you flipped yeah I was resting. I was getting ready for this were, phase. I keep telling yeah. myself that. I'm like, no, you can't feel bad about those six months because you needed that. You were totally preparing for this mm-hmm. moment, for this phase. And now you get to do it. And like, also now it's literally 8.41. It's past your bedtime. Oh, yeah, I need to go to bed. Like, so we were, we'll wrap up. But like, just knowing the fact that you used to sleep at like 5 a.m. And now you sleep at 8 a.m. and wake up at like 3 a.m. Mm-hmm. You're like Mark, Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. Like you, you are Mar- Mark, tag Mark Wahlberg here. <laughs> <laughs> but like, and that, okay, I'm listening to the one thing right now. This is, this is why Cam said this to us. Success leaves clues. Okay. This is one of their chapters and it's so true. And so as I was listening to it, I was like, okay, I'm not insane for doing what I'm doing. I'm just mimicking, modeling as Tony Robbins would say, but modeling what another successful person does in order to stay successful and to keep up and balance his life. Like he does that so yeah. he has his family time, so he eats properly, so he gets his gym and his golf in. So he does all of yeah. that and is happy, right? And content and healthy. So yeah, no, I was listening to the book and I was like, okay. So like, people are gonna think you're crazy, but you're not crazy. You're just yeah. doing, you're doing what you need to do. And I was like, it made me feel better. I was like, okay. yeah. The most successful people have a morning ritual. Yeah. They have a morning I, ritual. It was so hard before too. And this is like the mental block that holds you back from getting to that point can be so difficult to hurdle over. Right. But it's just, you literally just have to do that 180 and say, okay, no, I'm, yeah. I'm done. With, I'm leaving that in the past. I'm going to do this because I want to. And because I know I can. And like before, again, it was so hard. I would wake up before I had to leave. I would give myself like 15 minutes. I didn't care about putting makeup on. Like even now, like I don't need it, but like mm-hmm. it is nice to do my makeup and feel put together and everything, right? And so I literally would just like throw on any outfit. That, yeah. You know what I mean? And I think about it now and I'm like, holy shit, I didn't realize how like hard it was for me to do any of that stuff even like the morning menu it worked at like it was good for a little bit helped me for a little bit but after a while it was hard to even just like look at that and be like okay yes because I didn't have the time in the morning I would just like wake up and then I would like okay I gotta get to work okay I gotta do this and it was just there was no time made for that so like actually looking back on that and how difficult it felt but then how easy it was to make the switch like you is literally just one of those where you have to say okay no i believe i'm gonna do this yeah. and yeah and then actually doing it so but you you did a really good job like i get a video from you every day of you doing the cold tub yeah but and it like, is i'm not i'm not like the whole like yes i did the 180 it can be a very hard thing to get over oh no 100%. it's just again it's the mental block because when you're mentally and this was another thing too was i kept sleeping in like i would set my alarm for a certain time and i would sleep in it was because my mind and my body were not they were not connected at the time yeah. they were so separated there was something like my mind was in 80,000 different other places and my body was just like i can't keep up with you right yeah so once you actually take the time to and that's the thing is the morning routine helps you connect your mind yeah. and body, right? Like doing that cold tub, that helps you connect your mind and body. If you're not doing those little things for your mind and body, mm-hmm. sleeping at a similar time every night, right? Like I didn't have that for two years straight. My you also were aware of bartender Yeah, too. but that's exactly it. And like I gained weight throughout that time because my body was being put through so much yeah. stress. Like my hormones were out of fucking whack, right? Like I just got my first proper like regular period in such a long time like I got my period before but it just was never like hormonally regular and so 
when your mind and body aren't connected, it can throw off so many little things that you kind of get used to, but over time they build up and it's just the difference that you feel once you start to focus on those little things that help your mind and body is out of this world. Like, I feel like a new person. I'm like, who the fuck was she? I don't know her. <laughs> and especially also when you, what you fuel your body with. Yeah. Right? Because, like, if you eat crap, your mind is going to be fueled with crap. Right? But if, if you, you eat frozen food, you're going to be frozen in time. And you're going to be frozen in time. You're going to be in the ice tub. <laughs> if you're, no, if you're eating frozen chicken every day from Shopper's Drug Mart that's on sale, you're going to become a frozen fucking chicken, babe. Like, I was a frozen fucking chicken for, like, at least three months, okay? I was a little, like, <laughs> pussy-ass bitch chicken, okay? We should have taken a photo. We should have taken a photo of you of that pesto chicken you made. That um, So I was at, at, Ash, I was at Ashley's um, place a few days ago, and she made pesto chicken. It's on live. It's Paulina. <laughs> well, I love, hey, Paulina, love you, girl. Love you. Night and day is so Chloe. Yes. What? Night and day. Did I say that? Did I say that? It's a night and day difference where you've come. Am I? Am I channeling my inner Chloe Kardashian? Chloe. She's sending so many hearts. Thank you, darling. I got 674 hearts. Oh my god. Oh. Did How many viewers do we have? Did I say night and day? Really? She said all for me. <laughs> Come on, boost those hearts, babe. Come on. Let's go. More hearts. Come on. Keep going. For those of you who don't know, we're on live as well. Come on. Yeah, sorry. We're on TikTok live. We're on TikTok live. We've been on TikTok yeah. live this whole time. We've been ignoring it, but yeah, I turned yeah. around and I saw Paulina's name, so I had to acknowledge it. I, yeah. I'd also say, if you ever want to... If you, you're the type where you, it's very hard for you to adopt new habits and, and new lifestyles, make a very small change. Like, for the gym, if you, if you want to go to the gym... Just make a 50, like, okay, I'm going to go to the gym for 15 minutes and come back. And then do that to build the habit of that, just going no, yeah, to the gym. No, yeah, I got that from um, Atomic Habits. And that's how yeah. when I was, uh, when was it? I think it was after I got my, it was over a year ago. I think it was when I got my Planet Fitness membership. That was what I started off with. Yeah. It would be, like, between class and I'd have, like, or, like, between class and work, I'd have literally 15 minutes i'd go in go on the stair stepper for 10 minutes and then leave yeah right like little things like that is so important because once you as long as you're getting yourself there and that's what he highlights in the book is as long as you're getting yourself there it doesn't matter if you go for five minutes eventually after going there five times you're gonna start feeling like okay well i'm already here i might as well stay longer yeah right so yeah no 100 percent, 100 percent it's just, in terms of, it wasn't block in terms of habit. I think it was block in terms of state. Like, total state. Like, mm. I was in a Oh, state. no, I'm not talking about you specifically. I'm just saying in general. Yeah. Generally. Because I know for you, it was legitimately, like, you had the most hectic work schedule. And then your life, you were revolving your life around your work schedule. Yeah. It was so I was hectic. also a lot more, like, emotionally, I was fixating on things that did not serve me. And now you're letting go. And now you're letting go. You're, the rocket, your rocket has launched and your propellers are falling off. Yeah. Or they have fallen off. I'm ready to launch that rocket. Ready to launch that rocket even further. It turns to a spaceship. Yeah. That's what it is. A hyper spaceship. You know what it's giving, Paulina? It's giving Khloe Kardashian and Scott Disick. Scott Disick! <laughs> As you're saying that to me, I'm like, I feel like I'm looking at Scott Disick and I'm Chloe just sitting here. <laughs> like I'm getting the pep talk. What I'm hearing is Halloween costumes next year. <laughs> or this year. Yes. Okay, but we're going to have to literally like make your hair 10 shades lighter. Well, I've dyed my hair before. Can we like actually dye your hair and leave it like that? And we have to dye your beard. Oh, oh my god, I forgot about my beard. No, Scott is Wangle. Yeah, you're right, but also just like the advice Mano was giving me was giving very much Scott giving Chloe relationship advice when he is dating <laughs> girls that are 15 years younger than him. Like, because <laughs> he don't get it. Look at how many likes I gave. 
Oh my gosh, she got she got us to one point four k. One point four k likes. She jumped us almost a thousand. Holy um, shit. Okay, well I guess that's a good place to wrap up. Unless there's no, I think that's a good place to wrap up. But I hope that we did kind of spiral a little bit, but we did try to stay on the topic of mind and body. I think that it's more important than we realize, and it's a way easier than we realize to kind of lose that interconnectedness Mm -hmm. between the two it can be so easy to flip and fixate on just your body and lose track of your mind or flip and fixate on your mind and like Mm -hmm. lose complete track of your body and so listening to your body but also listening to your mind at the same time is so important and doing whether it be one little thing for your mind and one little thing for your body after you start doing that you will feel an incline in just feeling like yourself and that's what we want to feel at the end of the day is feeling like ourselves